Hi guys, welcome back to my weekly uh, blog leading up to my fight uh, to the UFC in uh, Dublin on July 19th versus Uncle Creepy Ian McCall. Welcome back. Yeah, it's been like, my weeks seem to be pretty much the same, you know, going to one, to the other, to the other. So it's pretty regimental one doing here, so nothing, you know, everyone, when, everyone thinks when you go to Miami, where I am, and that. Like, I must be going doing this, going partying, you know, that. I just didn't do anything. I train twice a day, every day, apart from Saturday and Sunday, while I only train once a day. Uh, at 11 o'clock, uh, I'm going to do wrestling for a couple of hours, then I come home and I relax, then I go back in uh, around about 7. I drill for an hour and then I do conditioning after drill. For me, when I, when, I, when I get back, uh, sometimes I, I used to like uh, have a little siesta, kind of like a snooze or something like that, but uh, I find we're doing that too much, I find it hard to sleep at night time. So, uh, but now, so basically what I do, well, it's my excuse, uh, I play a lot of video games, you know, and uh, and that's kind of like just, you know, I play on my laptop here, my Alienware laptop, or on PlayStation 4, but not here, it's actually get back at home, but, you know, I play, I play on Playing games a lot, but pretty much quite a big game. I'd say the best fight I've ever seen live was back. I don't know exactly which one it was. It was a cage rage event there in Wembley, arena or conference center, I think. And it was Melvin Manhoff, Melvin Manhoff versus Cyborg, and uh, that was a crazy, crazy fight. Uh, it was. Yeah, I mean, like, you'd have to go back and watch it. There's been loads of great fights within the UFC, but I think that this one uh, stood out for me because I was actually present. Who has hit me the hardest in my career? Okay, well, within fighting, I don't really feel much, I'd say, as in that. Uh, I've been dropped a couple of times in uh, in my in my fights, but uh, they've been like kind of flash knocked down. I've never been knocked out completely. Uh, there's a few people that, you know, I'd say hit, hit. I was saying, like, people like Michael McDonald and Andy one they both dropped me. But I don't really say that they hit really hard. It's more that they're very accurate and they have good accumulation and speed. So the time you come in on for the punch. Um, but I'd say someone who probably had just natural, natural power is uh, a training partner. Well, my, my coach, Mike Brown as well. Over the years, been sparring with him a lot. And for me, he is hitting me the hardest I've ever been here. To be honest, I, I got into fighting late in my career. When I was growing up, my main sport was football. Uh, yeah, if you're American, soccer. Uh, I say football. Um, yeah, so for me, it would have been that. And even to this day, if I could get paid just as much money to play football, I'd play football. I love football. Football's been my, my passion since a kid. You should always get every injury checked out, you know, uh, uh, first and foremost, because you don't want to make an injury worse. But yeah, sometimes there's a lot of injuries. I've had a lot of injuries through my most of my training camps, and uh, I continue to fight. But in the, the day, it's my job, so I'd like to do that. And it's my risk versus reward. Where if you're doing it as a hobby, I'd say don't train for any injuries. You know, uh, always get your injuries sorted out. Nah, no, I would never swap my hat for Pharrell's Vivian Westwood hat. No, no. Well, if I did, I'd probably do it just to keep it. So if you signed it for me, yeah, I'd do it that way. You know, but I wouldn't wear it. As you're using the brackets, uh, fighter, that means any sport, it would be Mike Tyson. I loved Mike Tyson growing up as a kid. Uh, I still love Mike Tyson now. I love everything about Mike Tyson. So. Ah, right, Ace McCall going down. Well, that that's my aim. I, I don't like to do too many predictions, you know, because you know you always come unstuck when you predict things. And you know, I like for me. I'm gonna go down. Obviously, I'm gonna try and knock him out. If I don't knock him out, I'm gonna try and submit him. If I don't submission, I'm gonna try my best to win the decision. That's how it goes. Be knockout, submission, decision. No. Thank you for listening to my blog again this week, and uh, you know, thanks for sending all these questions in. And hopefully, I've answered them best uh, uh, to my ability, and uh, you enjoyed the answers. And uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you again next week.